What gives Bitcoin its value? How can something that you can neither see nor touch have any value? Well, people often say that trust has immense value. Indeed, some would even call it priceless. And yet, this is a perfect example of something that we can neither see nor touch. In fact, trust is precisely the means by which fiat money derives its value. Therein lies the paradox in regard to the value of modern state-issued and digital currencies. On the one hand, we have Bitcoin, a digital currency that we cannot, quote, grasp with our hands, but is truly scarce and limited. And on the other, we have fiat currencies that we can all hold in our hands and whose value is based on trust. An inflexible supply. Bitcoin's price variations can be dramatic. It is not uncommon for the price to vary by as much as 30% in a single day. The reason for these fluctuations is that the supply of new Bitcoins is completely inflexible. The supply of new Bitcoins cannot be changed to adjust to the demand. In short, since no one controls Bitcoin, when demand changes, it is not the supply that adjusts. Instead, the price goes either up or down depending on demand. Metcalfe's Law Metcalfe's Law is the theoretical and empirical law of network effects, stating that the utility of a network is proportional to the square of the number of its users. As an easy way to illustrate this law, think about how much more useful a telephone network is when it has one million users as opposed to only two users energy expenditure, and Bitcoin's price. Miners spend energy to perform the digital signature operations that are required to participate in the lottery by which new blocks are created. In doing so, they are securing the network. This is the bridge that links the virtual world and the real world together. One could describe the investment in energy and mining equipment as the cost of generating new Bitcoins. A Virtuous Cycle When the price of Bitcoin rises, the profitability of mining attracts more miners to the network. The investments they make increase the security of the network, thereby making Bitcoin even more attractive as a store of value, which attracts more investors which in turn further increases demand and drives up the price. Rinse and repeat. Having Events and Monetary Policy When Bitcoin was first launched, miners were paid 50 Bitcoin per block. In 2012, after the first halving event, they only received 25 Bitcoin. Next, in 2016, it went down to 12.5 Bitcoin, and today, in 2023, the block reward is at 6.25 Bitcoin per block. This mechanism forms the basis of Bitcoin's monetary policy. The number of Bitcoins issued with each block is halved every four years. The gradual decline in the additional supply of new Bitcoins tends to create upward pressure on the price. A safe haven. A safe haven is an investment characterized by having a stable value that is scarcely affected by market turbulence. For Bitcoin to truly be considered a safe haven, it must still be put to the test. Its performance needs to be uncorrelated to traditional stock markets. A hedge against inflation. Several companies have already added BTC to their balance sheets. MicroStrategy has even explicitly stated that they view this investment as a hedge against inflation. And as we speak, dollarized countries or countries with weak currencies are valuing or even outright adopting Bitcoin as a legal tender. At the individual level, many people are buying Bitcoin in order to protect their savings against the inflation of state currencies. To this end, Individual adoption of Bitcoin is already well underway, 
in many countries that have unstable currencies.